that we'll be able to show you right here, but we do want to hit on the enhancements from the game, the fighting, and the custom character variations. Garrus is a new fighter in the game and who can tr has a really cool time control abilities. You know, Mortal C in NetherRealm games, we really try to add something new. Mortal Kombat X, we introduced a feature called Character Variations. Three versions of every single character. MK11 is expanding on that idea, creating custom character variations the player can actually create die themselves. So you notice they're selecting different versions of Scorpions. Some were created by the players, some were created already in the game. Same thing with Baraka. Cotton warriors are legendary. Then why don't you flee, Earthrealmer? The Shaddai Ryuk embrace danger. Round one, fight! So this is a Mortal Kombat game, so you expect the fighting to be brutal. MK11 sees the return of Baraka, who was a fan favorite from Mortal Kombat 2. So let's see some of the moves he does here. Not to be outdone, Scorpion has a few tricks up his sleeve. Okay, now without getting too technical, we're going to get into some of the geeky fighting game uh, moments out there. Mortal Kombat, traditionally we've had one meter that's a shared resource amongst the offense, defense, and the super moves. Mortal Kombat X is separating all three of those. So we have a horizontal meter is the offense attacks, vertical meter is the defensive attacks. See, Baraka's gonna shooting two using his offensive moves. Also can extend this leg stab here into a throw with a, also. Scorpion here is gonna escape a, from a knockdown using his defensive meter. And you're going to notice here that the uh, fatal blow is that's actually tied to 30% of the of the health meter when it's reduced you get fatal blow available. This adds completely new dynamic and tension to the fighting. Both in Baraka and Scorpion have a fatal blow right now. Baraka wins this fight. Round 2. Fight. <laughs> So Scorpion missed his fatal blow attack, but it actually will regenerate after a cooldown period. So you notice his, his fatal blow is established, he can pull it off. And now to be outdone, Baraka now has his fatal blow available. And of course, it wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without fatalities. We're going to quickly talk here about, we have custom variations. 